yeah how are we doing good morning hello welcome Sunday morning the weather outside is horrible it still looks like it's dark I've got a light on above the camera to get some light in and as you can see I need to have a shave so open comb October continues and today we're using this little baby which is the fat tip piccolo this was the what is the special edition version which comes with two base plates you've got the piccolo base plate which is open comb and you've got the genteel base plate which is solid bar so we use both of them the two-tone razor made in Italy unique threading to fat to a uh, fat tip so if the handles don't fit it's quite a short handle three piece not adjustable really got a very very long thread on the head a bit washer off and there's the open comb there's the uh, open comb so that's the razor in, in its constituent parts we'll do the brush first actually next and get soaking it's a theatre 26 28 mil 26 mil I think maybe 28 mil this is a bulb what the cost is a bulb fan what that is I thought you got bulbs or you got fan knots this is a combination knot so we'll get that soaking the blade is Gillette stainless red on its fourth use using a blade I know because the piccolo can be quite efficient at removing hair and skin and other body parts so there's the blade loaded up a little bit of overhang you can feel it on the edge of the head cap there's the base plate there's a little plastic washer after washers just go on eBay M5 now on washer you'll find loads of them there's the, uh, the fat tip solid brass handle so it's got a bit of weight to it and uh, one thing I forgot to check was the blade alignment the fat tips aren't exactly The highest quality when it comes to blade alignment that looks pretty good so we'll nip that down worthwhile checking i think in this configuration it's got 28 pounds for the razor and the two plates soap swedish Swedish Witch vegan soap, some rosemary, rosemary spice, a very uh, last year Swedish Witch was all the rage, and I know a few people on one of the UK forums tried to get some soaps off her and she didn't deliver. So, buy you beware. This was sent to me by Johan at Shave and Butcher. Thank you very much Johan, even though he did prank me, he sent it out as a five day old soap which had to cure for a month. So I had to wait until I got the pleasure of using Swedish Witch. But you can see it's a very hard soap. The ingredients are in very small print, there you go, have a read, have a pause. and there's the soap hasn't been used for a while there we go four splashes and we're done so we'll get to it I'm not going to skimp on the loading in case you hadn't noticed by the way this handle shape that's shave mac that's theatre Virtually identical except for the colours. I 
So yeah, I say a Swedish witch. A few people ordered them, and I don't think they ever received the soaps. Uh, so there'll be no links to Swedish witch. Uh, she's on Facebook. I don't even know if she's still making soaps. Uh, just telling it as it is, really. It is a good soap. Which probably is not worth the heartache of trying to get one. I was going to chase up. She does a. I think it's a lard soap as well, or a non-vegan base. And I was going to try and get that, but uh, I never bothered pursuing the uh, the purchase. Nice winter scent, rosemary and spice. Hopefully we'll have enough, I think we'll have. So how's your week been? Weekend, weekend, weekend. weather today is yeah, it's absolutely horrible. It's grey. It looks like it's still dark. I think the rain's starting to ease off but there's no enjoyment spending four hours in the rain trying to play golf and keep everything dry when you don't have to. So that got scrubbed this morning. And the winds from the east, so it's coming from Russia. So it's got a bit of an edge on it. More water. I quite enjoyed the open comb October. Just using open combs for the month. It's been, yeah, it's been enjoyable. Mm. I think so, isn't it? Obviously, the month's not finished. I've still got some to use, or some available to use during October. Got no qualms with that lather and the performance. So the fat tip piccolo, short Italian, not Joe Pesci. Oh, that is well hydrated. Well, there's been a few comments from people about you spend too long lathering. It's the best part of the shave for me. A poor lather can make a good shave not as good. It won't feel as good. Things could be tuggy. 
Gosh, you haven't got the hydration right. So it's worth spending a few extra minutes if you've got them. All I'm doing is using battery power on the camera to uh, nil the lather. It's like a lot of things in life. I play golf. If I get any problems with the golf swing, I'll go back to the fundamentals. If you have a bad shave, work out where it came from. Go back to the fundamentals. Was the soap okay? Was the lather okay? Was it well hydrated? Or hydrated enough? I know Graham's got a Graham flash boredom has a pickle or and the coatings come off. At the end of the day it's through so that costs it's half the price of a 30 Merca 34. I think it actually looks quite looks quite nice when the coating comes off. I think his was nickel when it went almost black. And uh, So you're not purchasing a high-end quality stainless steel razor. Cost, it's still pretty good quality for the money. Even this configuration with the two base plates, which is probably the most expensive option. You're still getting change out of £30 without shipping, which is pretty good value. Could easily walk out the office and go to work on that. Cup of coffee first. Before we go any further, where it gets cold. Got that for coffee, eh? Smoking. Smoking hot. Get rid of the vape. Anybody interested? I've been vaping probably as well, seven years, if not longer. Best thing I ever did. And if you think wet shaves are the latest. I get into high end vaping. Totally necessary. Right, across the grain, going from nose to ear. For a change.
more than good enough. However, I'm going to change base plates over to the Gentila. And get the washer out. And again, let's check the blade alignment before I tighten everything down. Yep. So that's it in the solid bar configuration. Again, still over handle. Contend with a little bit. There's not really a lot left. It was a bit cold, didn't warm it through. It's a combination for £28 for the heads and the handle or the base plate and the handle. Take some beating really. You could say it's one of the better value razors on the market. You've got the, aggress the efficient option, almost said aggressive there. Normal pickups, it's these two areas. See the car that hit me. <sighs> that joke just popped in my head and sort of appealed. Soap, no issues with the soap. We'll pull out what the brush is hogging. See you in a minute. Quality. Absolute, that feels really nice. I think in the past when I've used Swedish which I didn't use any pore shave. I didn't feel the need, but I'm going to today. 
Let's make his coffee. I don't need a bit of don't feel like I do. So I'm just going to go straight to the B Men Shave. B Men Sensitive Post Shave Balm, which I'm still trying to kill. The tube that won't die. Sorted. Right, quick recap. The soap today was the, sweet, the Swedish Witch Rosemary Spice. Vegan soap, works without issue. Quality, maybe the house part might be getting hold of it. Well, it's there. The brush was the Theta Butterscotch 26mm bulb fan. Uh, yeah, worked really well. The blade was a Gillette Red Stainless or Stainless Red on its fourth use, which is still there. Hasn't been dried yet. And the razor, probably the star of the show actually, was the fat tip piccolo. We used both the open comb plate, this is the limited edition version, and the gentile plate. So the piccolo for the first two passes, which was more than good enough, could have easily gone to work on that. And there's the piccolo just there, the open comb. And there's the gentile, solid bar. £28 you get a razor that works pretty well short handle solid brass yeah enjoyed it right that's the end of today's open comb October open comb October open comb <coughs> October chapter yes we still have a few more chapters to go before the end of October, but we'll see how things progress. I think I've got everything lined up for the next, up until the end of the month, <coughs> sorted out. Uh, anyhow, if you have any comments, leave them below. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.